San Francisco-based DoorDash is requiring engineers to deliver food. And they're furious. <laughs> of course they're furious. You know, it's so funny because our clients who are traditional multi-billion dollar enterprises, not your hotshot, you know, tech startups that have been around for two years, three years. But these are businesses that have been around for decades. And I put this article in front of some of some of our clients and their executive teams. They had a very visceral reaction. And I agree with them because their employees, their team members, they wear it with a badge of pride to be able to go out into the field and just learn, right? And and help um, and 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 really understand what it takes to do the work. And so it does not surprise me one bit the smugness. And again, just going back to the, the bad rap that Silicon Valley has gotten is not undeserved. So what happened here is there's this anonymous social media platform called Blind. In order to create an account, you have to verify it with, a, with the email from that company's domain name, right? So it's verified that you work at that company. So DoorDash announces this. All non-delivery employees are going to do a dash once a month. Maybe once a month is a lot. I don't know, but it's just like one dash. You just do one, one delivery like from your car. Whoa, it's not like you have to walk or go on a bike, God forbid. Now, a 1,500 comment thread on Blind, this anonymous social media platform, was started last week by a disgruntled DoorDash worker, an engineer with a reported total compensation of $400,000 a year, griped about the responsibility, says what the actual F word, I didn't sign up for this, there's nothing in the offer letter slash job description about this. It's so just entitled. Some people said it would be good to, to, to learn what delivery workers have to go through. Then other people said, absolutely not. For employees unable to do deliveries, there are other programs in place to work with service employees and businesses. I think this is a great initiative. And I will go one step further. You don't want to do the program? Do what um, that guy, Tony Say, the uh, founder of Zappos did, right? Pay you. At that time, it was a lot of money. This is, I don't know, 20 years ago, right? He would pay you $10,000 to get the hell out. This is what I would do. You know, but make it 50,000, I don't know, 20, 25,000. 25,000 dollars, get the hell out of my company. You don't want to go do a dash. You don't want to go and really understand the business and, and what your constituents, your consumers, your producers, more importantly, what do platforms take advantage of? Producers. Understand what your producers go through on a day-to-day -day basis. These people are just struggling to make ends meet. You can't take it out of your own cushy $400,000 a year compensation to go do a dash once a month. You're getting paid. You're still getting paid. It's not like he's not paying you to go do a dash. It's just ew, not appropriate. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble, and text us 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.